All right, we call it the three-word game on Monday. Every NFL game dating back to Thursday night's game described in three words. Here we go. Redskins, Vikings, not convinced yet. All right, listen, last year, Minnesota with the same roster and players was one and six against playoff teams. The only team above 500 they played this year, Green Bay, they lost. Uh, they got to go to Kansas City. They got to go to Dallas. They got to go to Seattle. Uh, they're not nearly as scary when you put them in primetime games. Uh, I, I don't buy them yet. Seahawks, Falcons, over at half. 24 nothing at half. Boy, Atlanta is the slowest starting team in the NFL. They just can't get it together. Seattle, interestingly, is a better road team than a home team. They're 4 and 0 this year away from the Emerald City. Uh, for the record, Seattle is 54 and 0 when they are ahead by four or more points at half since Russell Wilson showed up. Isn't that a remarkable stat? You talk about a team that doesn't blow halftime leads. Russell Wilson in Seattle, 54 and 0. When Russell leads by four or more at half. Wow. Uh, Eagles, Bills. Told you so. On Friday, I said this team is too good structurally. I'm not bailing on the Eagles. And I liked Buffalo. But Josh Allen had seven TDs and seven picks. This is a very limited offense. It took the Eagles after Orlando Scandrick ripped him on my show. And uh, Greg Cosell ripped him on Thursday. They kind of galvanized. This is a highly emotional, Steeler-esque football team that plays better with high emotion. And they also play better when they pound the football and let Carson Wentz on play action throw to their big tight ends. That's what they did. And they really controlled the Buffalo Bills. We told you so. Chargers, Bears, done with Trubisky. Come on. Dating back to last year, according to Pro Football Focus, he's the 50th rated quarterback. 50th. That means he's below 20 backup quarterbacks. Five touchdown passes all year. That's fewest for any quarterback that started five games. And don't tell me they don't have running back help. They do. Receiver help. They do. And a clever offensive coach. They do. Giants Lions coming out cold. They've been outscored, has New York, by 40 points in the first quarter this year. They're, come on, Pat Shermer, get it together. Four straight losses. I actually, they traded today for Leonard Williams. So they made their first ever trade with the Jets to get Leonard Williams on the defensive front and gave up some draft picks, which I actually, the, the way they look at it is we, we have money to spend. We're not paying Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley anything yet. We got money to spend, and they went and got a terrific defensive lineman, Leonard Williams. Jets, Jags, Jags troll Darnold. The mascot dressed up as a ghost. Do you see that? Because Sam Darnold sees ghosts. By the way, Jag fans trolled him later with a banner that said, Gardner Minshew ain't afraid of no ghosts. I didn't initially get this. That's how dim I am. And then I was like, what? Is, oh, ghosts. Sam Darnold ghosts. Bengals Rams. Cup of tea. Game played in London. Cooper Cup, seven catches, 220 yards. Everybody thinks it's Todd Gurley's injury and decline, but when Cooper Cup got hurt last year, they still ran the ball with C.J. Anderson. Jared Goff was never the same. Cooper Cup is a top five NFL receiver. Third down catches first, third down yards first, target second, receiving yards second. Deceiving speed, strong, great hands, terrific routes. He is a star for my alma mater, Eastern Washington University. Cardinal Saints, what a breeze. Arizona's not terrible and drew through for almost 400 yards. I love watching Drew Brees play. He and Brady, the way he moves in the pocket. I, I could sit here and watch Drew Brees. He makes so many smart pre-snap reads. Michael Thomas, I think they should trade Teddy Bridgewater and get him one more offensive target. Bears have depth have wide receiver. Bucks, Titans, Jame isn't the answer. Jameis Winston, four more turnovers. Do you know he's 6-22 and 22 in his last 28 games as a starter? And for the record, Tampa's got really good offensive weapons. Mike Evans is as good as any receiver in the NFL – He's had 91 turnovers, has Jameis Winston, since he entered the league. That's 15 more 
a season's worth than any other quarterback. Broncos, Colts, Brissett saves day. Two minutes to go, trailing by a point. Watch this play by Jacoby Brissett. If not for Deshaun Watson and Aaron Rodgers, the play of the day. Look at this rope, a 35-yard rope to T.Y. Hilton. Uh, that This could have been the end of the game. Vaughn Miller flings him around, and Jacoby Brissett just a frozen line to T.Y. Hilton. They come in, Adam Vinatieri with a 51-yard field goal for the win. Uh, one of the plays of the day just overshadowed by Deshaun Watson. Panthers 49ers. What a statement. Kyle Allen didn't have a pick. He had three of them yesterday. Kyle Allen was sacked seven times. And San Francisco's offense, Coleman, Kittles, everybody. Brita. George Kittle is so open all the time. to make That's schemes. And they have, as Bucky Brooks said, multiple running backs. And this team's young. A bunch of kids. They're only going to get better. Raiders, Texans, one eyed Watson, cleat to the face, adjusted his helmet, spun around, and threw the winning touchdown against the Raiders. Deshaun Watson, all time great. John Gruden said he's Michael Jordan. Browns, Patriots, three straight turnovers. New England up 3 0. First quarter, Cleveland fell apart after that. Nick Chubb fumbled. Next play, Chubb ran 44 yards, fumbled again. Next play, Baker had his butt fumble. What? A mess. Packers Chiefs. Aaron to Aaron. He threw for 305 yards, over half to Aaron Jones. Finally, Green Bay is using, finally is using their running backs. They had four touchdowns yesterday. We've talked about the defense. The other great part of this Green Bay team, running backs are now valued and elevated, and Green Bay's in first place. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.